Yo, what is up guys? It is Royal Stoners here. Welcome back to another story time video. How are you guys doing today? Let me know down in the comments below. I always like to know. I'm pretty fucking baked already. Man, I got a blunt rolled. I got a story time blunt. I'm gonna insert a video here of the blunt that we rolled for this fucking story time because this is a special occasion. This is the 200 subscriber special. I'm gonna be telling you guys about a story that happened recently. I took a, a mushroom chocolate bar. It was a white chocolate fucking mushroom bar. It had 3.5 grams in it. Before we get into this video, guys, spark the fuck up. I'm about to light this blunt up and we're gonna get into this story time. Damn. Okay. In this story time, we're bringing back all the old characters, you know. Daniel, Johnson, and Nathan, and fucking Cody was even there in spirit. All my fucking homies. We even got a new homie who was joined with us in this one. We're gonna call this dude Ray. So, how this day began, I had no idea I was even gonna be doing mushrooms, right? That's how it always happens, man. You get with your homies, you plan some shit out, and you just get fucked up. At least that's what we do around here. And today, we just happened to stumble upon some psychedelics. All I knew about this day at the moment was that I was gonna be hanging out with Ray, Nathan, Johnson, and Daniel, and we were gonna be smoking weed and scheming. How it began, I woke up, Glock in my hand, 30 round mag, already loaded ready for every single fucking homeless guy coming at me i'm just playing but you know nah you know what i'm actually not playing this royal stoner is killer of all the homeless people i'm just kidding homeless people i love you i'm donating every single bit of my life savings to charity anyways we're getting completely off topic let's get back into the story so how this day all began i woke up you know like every other day i rubbed my eyes and shit fucking felt like hell had a headache nauseous so I lean over and I smoked some weed, I took some Kratom, and I checked my phone, right? And Nathan had been texting me telling me he was going to be coming over today, right? It was Friday. He was going to come over after school. Congratulate my boy Nathan. He's on his last year of high school. But I'm a dropout, so man, don't congratulate my dumbass. I want everyone to write down in the comments right now. Congratulations, Nathan. So after we discussed what time he was coming over and shit... I was like, I bet, that's that's what's up. <sighs> yeah, slide by after school. My place is the spot, bro. We just be smoking here, doing all kinds of shit, man. We, we be having some great times. So, I'm just chilling, you know? Fucking not doing shit. <coughs> and I get a text from Johnson, right? And he's like, yo, Royal Stoners, you wanna hang out today? And I'm like, fuck yeah, I wanna hang out, bro. Johnson, if you're watching this video and you ask me if I wanna hang out, is there really ever a day I don't wanna hang out, dog? Anyways, I of course said yes, but I also asked him if he was trying to pick up my buddy Ray, too. They're also really good friends with Ray as well, so like, I, of course they're probably gonna say yes, right? Now, I've not talked about Ray in any of my other story times, but this is the homie. He sold me the molly that was in the MDMA and coke video, but Johnson texted me that, and I, I asked him if he could fucking pick up Ray, too, and they was like, yeah, probably because you know daniel is daniel's truck and they have to get gas and shit so i'm chilling at my house waiting for fucking nathan to get out of school and it comes about like 3 30 nathan gets out of school he comes over to my house around like four or something and we're hanging out and shit you know cutting up laughing our asses off i'm not sure if i've really mentioned this detail in any of the other videos but i've known nathan since like the fucking sixth grade that's my brother like we are so similar, bro. We're so much alike, but different. Like, it's awesome, dude. We're fucking homies. The way me and him met, we actually got into a fight in the bathroom, and then we became homies afterwards. I let him hit a GB and shit, and we're just getting ready for Johnson and Daniel and them to come over. So, I'd say about, like, maybe six-ish, seven-ish, they come over, and we go out there, right, and Ray just gets out the truck, and he has his guitar, and he walks up to my fucking front door, man, and he's just, like, ready to spend the night and shit, and I'm just like, hell yeah, bro. When they got there, he and Ray walked to the front, and everybody else went to the back, and we started talking, right, and he was telling me that they were gonna go pick up some acid, and that they were gonna trip, and I was like, I don't know how I feel about doing acid, because I'd been doing a lot of it recently, and I just didn't want to do it, like, I need a break, <laughs> you know? Like, I don't want to fucking go crazy. I'm just playing. I won't go crazy. I just could feel my brain frying. <laughs> 
Okay, well, me and Ray walk to my room and he's talking to me about all this shit, right? And they're about to go pick up acid and Ray's already got three tabs and some ecstasy pills. He shows me them bitches, bro, and the tabs are like rainbow, rainbow tie-dyed and uh, the, they look fucking great. Like, I was like, fuck, I want to do acid now. So, I was like, okay, I might do some acid. Now, I didn't end up doing acid, but we'll get into that in a minute. After we hang out in my room for a minute, we go outside to the back with everybody, and we gotta go head out to go to the plug. Now, uh, we just ended up leaving. We got in the truck, and we started heading to the plug's house, right? Midway there, we're talking and shit, and uh, Ray gets to talking about, like, all the other shit he's got. He's like, he's got mushroom bars, he's got fucking ecstasy, real MDMA crystals and shit, you know, and actual presses. And I'm just like, damn, how much for the mushroom bars bro like i was a little worried at first about it bro not gonna lie i was like damn these are probably gonna be fake as fuck but fuck it so he asked his dude how much they were right and we're still driving there earlier in the backyard this is a flashback before we drove off me and daniel were talking and he said he might buy me an acid tab but on the way there he told me uh he couldn't i was completely okay with that decision because like i low-key didn't want to do acid i just wanted to do it because the blotter looked really cool so we're all just sitting in Daniel's truck while he's driving, waiting for him to respond about the mushroom bar prices. Daniel and Johnson are discussing money and their shit because Daniel was gonna buy Johnson a tab because Johnson didn't have any money. So while Daniel and Johnson are doing that shit, me and Ray start to catch up. We start to get talking, and right when we start talking, man, it's like the fucking plug new, man. He finally responds after like five minutes. He's like 25 for mushroom bars, and we're just like, okay. I instantly get excited because I know I have that much money on Cash App. I just have to find out if this dude takes Cash App or not. Daniel instantly is like, all right, I'm getting a mushroom bar. And he's also getting two tabs, so... He was going to do mushrooms and acid. Johnson was going to just do acid because he couldn't afford a mushroom bar. No. I was like, okay, yeah, I got to get a mushroom bar. So I find out if the dude accepts cash app and thank the fucking Lord he does. I ended up cash apping Ray's plug. $25 so that I get a mushroom bar, right? And we get to this dude's house and he comes out. Excuse me, not house. Fucking camper. This dude was literally staying in a camper and there's like three cars outside. But there was a house like uh maybe 10 15 feet from the camper so i'm assuming maybe he doesn't live in the camper shit the dude stayed in the camper and fucking trapped out that hoe and sold hella drugs i wouldn't shame the hustle man fuck you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes you gotta be breaking bad up in this bitch fucking walter whitehead ass okay so anyways ray's plug runs up to the truck right this dude's wearing a fucking gray hoodie a hat and this dude just looks really chill. He looks like a fucking pretty cool guy. Like a stoner. And he's got two mushroom bars and fucking two tabs of acid. It was in like this... It was literally in vacuum sealed bags. Like the acid was. I was really confused. I was like, why so much effort for acid? Just put it in a baggie. But uh, he hands us the mushroom bars and acid. And, and Ray hands me my fucking mushroom bar. And it's wrapped in tin foil. And I'm just looking at this bitch and I'm like... Man, this just looks like candy. This might just not even... Like, it was a fat-ass white chocolate bar, right? And as I'm eating this hoe, I already unwrapped it and started eating it. The plug just goes, Hey, bruh. Hey, you all want to chill out on that? And I just look up at him and I'm like... Why the fuck would I chill out? And this dude goes, the la the people who made those, they they uh freaked out and didn't want to take them no more because they were so strong. It like made them wig out. And I was just like, I think you underestimate my tolerance to shrooms, man. And that's what I was thinking in my head. But what I really told this man was, I looked up at him and I was like, why do you gotta tell me this right after I eat almost all of it? Now, it didn't scare me when he said it, but I said that as a joke because it was pretty funny. This dude starts laughing a little bit. He's like, hi, y'all be safe. Have a great time. Him and Ray chatted up some more while we're just like looking at our drugs. And keep in mind, I've already ate like almost all of this chocolate bar and there was 3.5 grams of mushrooms in it. That was a pretty good deal. $25 for 3.5 grams of mushrooms. 10 out of 10, it was an okay exchange. So anyways, I eat like almost all all of the chocolate bar and wrap up like a little piece and we head off right and Dan since daniel's driving he's gonna wait to take his drugs right and he it was set, he told us he's gonna wait till we get to my house to do his shit i mean it really wouldn't be that big of a deal if he drove us while he was high because we've rode with this man while he's been tripping balls but he's never he had never done mushrooms and acid at this point like together so he was gonna wait ray just pops his three tabs right and fucking takes his ex and we're just like damn bro so we're riding back to my house chilling 
on the way back we had to stop at this gas station right and that's when i felt the mushrooms start to kick in a little bit i started getting real giggly and like happy bro and everything started to look a little brighter and like weird and i was like oh yeah i was like i'm starting to get giggly and ray just starts laughing bro and he's like hell yeah he's like i told you they weren't fucking bullshit and i was like hell yeah i'm already feeling them yeah these hoes ain't bullshit so i ate the last piece right while we're at that gas station and ray's sitting there looking at everything because his ass is starting to kick in too and his ex and daniel's just pumping gas while we're just fucking chilling and after that we end up heading back to my house right the whole car ride back bro i literally feel like i'm floating in a fucking spaceship it's like we had just ascended off the ground and we're no longer on earth anymore a fucking spaceship mushrooms are crazy guys body feelings i was getting on these bitches were nice and once we get to my house these mushrooms have like kicked in not all the way but they've kicked in so i step out the door of the car and everything's just like a lot further away and like wobbly like i could like barely stand almost but i caught my balance and i was able to walk mushrooms always make me a little wobbly and like off course they make me fucking dizzy as shit man so i did that i walked into my front door everything in the living room is shaking and moving it's like fucking wobbly and stuff like the visuals on mushrooms for me are always a lot more intense than acid so i walk through my fucking fun mirror house tripping balls on mushrooms go down my hallway i always get this real like crazy tunnel effect on mushrooms i don't know about you guys but walking down that hallway it was as if everything around it was blurry except the middle of the hallway and Ray was following behind me and going to my bedroom because we were going to go look at the black lights and posters in my room. And we went to my room and he put his ecstasy on my fucking table and shit. And we started looking around at my room, the fucking purple black lights shining on my fucking fluorescent posters and shit. I got this skull poster, mushroom posters, a weed poster. I got some pretty crazy black light posters. So we were staring at these bitches tripping balls and having some really deep conversations. And we let the time get the best of us. And we were in my room for a good like 30 minutes while everybody was outside you know the deep conversations you'd be having with your homies tripping balls so we realized that we need to go out with the other group so we had our happy tripping asses the fuck out my room and back to the backyard while we were outside the mushrooms just like my peak started bro like i was tripping hard walked out the back door and it was like a fucking movie bro nathan was playing the guitar fucking daniel and johnson were running around laughing and shit and me and ray stand at my back porch and Daniel and them come up to us and fucking is like, yo, Daniel goes, yo, you know how that one time Johnson said in the pool he would never leave my side while we were tripping balls? Because this happened one time, right? Fucking Dan, Daniel was getting terrorized by Johnson. Johnson would not leave him alone while tripping balls. Daniel goes, he just mentioned it again and is not leaving me alone. And like fucking Johnson just kept on chasing him again, bruh. Fucking Johnson's a fucking menace to society, man. I swear to God. But you know, Nathan's playing the guitar, man. And after that chasing around shit, we all start to get talking and we're all just making each other laugh having a great time man Ray was tripping balls bro he told me he was falling through fractals and like tunnels of fractals and he became a fractal it was connected with the energy of all the other fractals and he was one and i was just like god damn he told me that afterwards but we're outside fucking talking and shit and daniel took his mushroom bar right and his acid and he's tripping on mushrooms and acid this is the like happiest i've seen this man he's like walking he's like running around and laughing and shit and fucking dying laughing and i was just like man this is a great time mushrooms are amazing because like i was just laughing smiling i smiled the entire time dude like that i love mushrooms they're natural they're great and we were just chilling out in the backyard at nighttime fucking watching the sky and trees and shit i was looking at the trees bro and it looked like they were growing and shrinking like that's, that's what mushrooms do for me when i look at trees it's like they're growing like like not like acid at all though it's like they're actually growing and shrinking is so crazy damn this blood is burning for a minute we get stuck in some pretty crazy thought loops not like some bad ones but we're sitting out there talking about like the same thing essentially over and over and over again and uh it gets to about like 11 30 where everybody else gotta leave except for uh ray and nathan so 
everybody else had to leave because you know i can't have that many people staying over at my house uh it's not enough room okay so we're just chilling in my room i'm getting super tired because after like a really hard mushroom trip bro i just get like blackout tired i was like blacking out talking to ray and shit and this this man ended up climbing up in bed and falling the fuck asleep like at the foot of the bed and i was like curled up next to my wall fucking nodding out and i just blacked out bro i blacked out watching those interrogation videos on youtube you know the like ones where they go in depth about the serial killers i fucking passed out watching that on mushrooms man and yeah that was the time i fucking did mushroom bars or mushroom chocolate bars that shit was crazy man if you guys did enjoy this video let me know down in the comments below i'm gonna be trying to make more videos here soon stay tuned uh if you were not subscribed you should subscribe join the royal stoners army we grow bigger every day we just got over 10,000 views bro and 215 subscribers man if you subscribe i will send you 200 million fucking grams of crack no but for real guys thank you for the support i really appreciate it. I'm just doing this for fun and to entertain you motherfuckers. I'm just playing you guys aren't motherfuckers. I love y'all I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace